Hey guys, I'm CJ McLean, and I will be talking about Pierre Gassendi. Pierre Gassendi was born on January 22nd, 1592 to Antoine Gassendi and Frank Lloyd Fabry. He was a philosopher, priest, astronomer, and mathematician, but he was also an observational scientist, and he published the first data on the transit of Mercury in 1631. His best-known writing is an attempt to reconcile Epicurean atomism, which is a philosophy based upon the teachings of the ancient Greek philosopher Epicurus. Gassendi is well known in the history of philosophy because of his disputes with Descartes, but he also had relations with several other major figures, which represented more important ideas. Gassendi's philosophy is a constant review of other sources, a thorough consideration of the landscape in which his own empiricism fits and represents an alternative to contrasting claims, both past and present. A broad goal of Gassendi's work is to address questions about metaphysics, epistemology, and methodology against Western thought. Present work offers a view of his thinking, partly detached from the thinking of his contemporary fellow intellectual travelers, and broadened to take account of his treatment of ancient and medieval writers with whom he took himself to be conversing. Gassendi tries to establish a constructive critic or skepticism in which we assent to knowledge claims, not because they are certain, but because they are reliable. The things that we learn through our senses are most reliable because our senses receive these things called corpuscular transmissions from external objects in the world. Borrowing from Epicurus, Gassendi claims that, we, that there are two ways that evidence sense data could serve as signs to reveal non-evident state of affairs. A commemorative sign allows us to assert the presence of one thing when there is sensory evidence of another if the two had always been found together in our previous experiences. An indicative sign suggests a hidden state of affairs which must inhere for us. Perspiration on the skin is an indicative sign of pores into the skin. In Gassini's theoretical writing on scientific reasoning, he had to go beyond a syllogistic method called regressus demonstrativus so that he could derive evidence for the existence of void from the experiments. This allowed him to introduce the non-empiricist idea of hypotheses. Later, Gassendi accepted a principle of scalar invariance, which means that the physical laws governing the behavior of bodies are invariant to their scale, and that he believed this principle had already been born. Gassendi's theory on atomism had a rational basis instead of an empirical one. Gassendi proposed that atoms aggregate, aggregate sorry, in a moleculae and concrenculae. This allowed Gassendi to evade critics who felt that the formation of complex substance from, from atoms was debatable. One of the most questionable aspects of Gassendi's atomism theory was his claim that atoms have the God-given power of self-motion, which motivated or which violated the principle of scalar invariance. This made it a little more difficult for Gassendi to explain the inertial motion of sensible objects in terms of the eternal motion of their constituent atoms. One of, or in conclusion, there was circularity in Gassendi's effort to ground atomism in empiricism because the reliability of our senses was grounded into the assumption of corpuscular transmission from objects to their sense organs. This circularity and the inconsistent reliance of scalar invariance made Gassendi such a huge figure. He was willing to look beyond the traditional themes in epistemology and matter theory. After traveling for many years, Pierre Gassendi returned to Paris in 1653 and continued his literacy work. In that year, he published both Lives of Copernicus and Tycho Brahe. He eventually suffered from a lung disease and his health gradually went downhill, which led to his death on October 24th, 1655 at age 63. There was a bronze statue of him built in 1852 near the city where he was born. And this is the list of my sources. Thanks.